everybody and today we got to have an exclusive look for the very first time at the shield brothers strike which is a brand new strike that we're getting with the taken king and it actually takes place on the dreadnought in a place where the cabal have made their stamp mark <laughs> the cabal are on the dreadnought they have their own little ship on there and this strike takes place within that ship of the cabal so you're actually going to be fighting the cabal for the most part cabal bosses but what will happen is now strikes are a little bit more dynamic you will encounter different varieties of enemies and that's going to change all the time so you could be fighting just the cabal the whole way through or you could also be fighting the taken and the cabal so that's really cool you never know what's going to happen it's going to be really interesting for nightfalls with that switching up because the taken are definitely a lot more deadlier than everybody else which makes sense, I guess. <laughs> so that's gonna be nice to switch things up when it comes to Nightfalls and just doing Heroic Strike playlists. So for the first part of this strike, you are sent into a room. It's a room that you can't really escape from because there are flames wherever you want to go and try and hide. You will turn around and be like, whoa, dude, I'm burning, I shouldn't be here. And that's to just try and keep people in the fight area. They don't want people to be hiding in all of these strikes or finding areas that they can just sit and be perfectly safe from. So now we have flames stopping us from going into sneaky little spots where we can just hide and have an easy encounter. So the first room that you're in is completely smothered with Cabal. They're gonna keep coming out at you. There's gonna be Colossuses in there. There's gonna be Yellow Dudes, which are the majors, of course. But I just call them Yellow Dudes because they have yellow names and stuff. <laughs> so you're gonna have a bunch of yellow dudes, a bunch of scions coming at you, and then eventually this tank comes out and you have to try and take down this tank while also dealing with Cabal that just keep on spawning. Like, they don't stop, they just keep spawning. It's very easy for them to get on top of you and all of a sudden you have five Cabal standing around you. You're trying to not take damage from the tank, you're trying to avoid the Cabal, and it can get very, very hectic. Now, the strike that we actually watched on stream today was the easiest level that you can play it on. And keep that in mind, when you're watching this video throughout watching this entire thing, that you were watching gameplay of the easiest level you can do this strike on, and these people were five levels higher than the strike that they were playing. So imagine it in the Nightfall, imagine it in the Heroic Strike playlist, it's not gonna be a joke. So as I said, within this encounter, you are just trying to take down the tank while also avoiding all of the crossfire of the Cabal trying to take you out because you're trying to kill their tank and I'm sure they spent a lot of money on that thing. It's rude of you to do that. <laughs> but after you do manage to take down the tank, you will then head through various different enemies. You'll have some taken, maybe, or maybe that will just be Cabal forever. It depends what kind of strike you get. It depends how your luck is when you go in to actually play the strike. So you'll fight a bunch of enemies. You'll see more of the Dreadnought, which looks really, really good. Can I just say how good the Dreadnought looks? The Dreadnought looks amazing. It's really pretty. It's like a hive palace taken to the maximum, basically. That's the best exclamation I can, exp, explanation, explanation. That's the best explanation that I can give. And after you fight your way through these enemies, whether they're taken or cabal, you will enter the boss arena. And it is definitely more of an arena than just like a room. It's an arena where they're gonna throw down on you. And this is when the strike gets really, really, really good and really entertaining because this is where you're going to encounter the Shield Brothers themselves. So for this boss battle, like I just said, you will be fighting the Shield Brothers. So that kind of gives you a guess that there are two of them. There's two boss guys that you have to fight. And of course, there's gonna be Cabal spawning randomly wherever to come and try and help their brothers in taking you out and putting you into an early early deathbed which is pretty grim when you think about it it's pretty grim <laughs> so these two brothers they have different varieties of how they play so the first one that comes out is gonna be what I would say is like he's the true bro he's the true bro he's all about just jumping at you he flies towards you and tries to basically fist of havoc you over and over again and that's that's what he does he just flies at you, tries to slam you into the ground, tries to do damage to you, and you're gonna have to jump away to try and avoid him. Now, when this strike is done on a higher level, him hitting you 
will actually kill you or will very, very, very nearly kill you. At the moment in this one, you can get down to maybe half health, maybe a little bit lower, but in the more difficult versions of this strike, you have to avoid getting hit. You don't have an option. If you don't want to die, you cannot get hit by him. So he's going to be chasing after you, trying to fist of havoc you, death from above you over and over and over again. And while he's chasing you around the arena, you will have various different ads spawning, also trying to kill you. So it gets very, very, very chaotic, trying to run away from him, who's trying to slam you, and also trying to deal with all the ads, trying to shoot him. So this strike really comes down to teamwork. If there's someone who's struggling, who's being chased by a bunch of ads or being chased by him at the same time, you're going to want to switch aggro. Someone in your party is going to want to take him away and run around the arena while the two other teammates actually deal with the ads. So it doesn't get too crazy and you don't end up losing your fire team members. Now something really cool that we learned in today's stream is that bosses are going to drop specific loot that is specific to that boss. It can be a gun, it could be any kind of weapon, a sword hint, hint, swords. It could be armor, it could be a class item, it could be an artifact, it could be a number of things, but you can only get it from that strike boss. This is awesome because if you have that special thing, there's only one place to get it from. So that makes it me feel like it's going to be a lot rarer to get that specific thing. And it just makes that loot hunting a little bit more interesting because you're like, okay, I want that cape. I have to go and fight that strike, that boss, in order to get that cape. It makes you want to go and hunt out the loot a little bit more. So I'm really excited for that. Super excited because people are going to be like, where'd you get that cave from, man? Where'd you get it from? And you're like, hey, I, I, I was hunting a boss in a strike. I, I did it. I got it. So I'm really excited for that. Now, moving on to the other brother that, that kind of rhymes, the other brother of this strike, he is more standoffish. He's more like a, a magician if he was, yeah, sort of, he basically stands there and puts these marks on the floor. You can see that there's like blue spirals on the floor and where those blue spirals are, if you are standing in it, he basically is shooting missiles at you. So if you're standing there, you're going to take damage. He also will jump around the map when you get too close to him because obviously he doesn't have a melee up front kind of ability to kill you with. He just is all about the missiles. So if you get really close to him, he will jump away and if if you are where he lands, he will also do damage to you where he lands. So you really want to avoid getting stomped by him and you want to avoid the missiles that he's shooting at you. I like to compare him to the spider in Bloodborne. If you've ever played Bloodborne and there's like that spider that shoots missiles at you, you can't stand in the area. It's very similar to that. It's very similar to that. Now when you deal with him, he will go back. I call this the dress change because it actually looks like they're going for a dress change. Like you know at a concert where the artist goes behind the scenes to change up their outfit. That's what it reminds me of. It's like, hold on guys, be right back. Gotta make a costume change. That's what it reminds me of. So he will then go back for his costume change and he will re-emerge with his brother and you will have to fight both of them at the same time. So you're gonna have a crazy dude running around trying to stomp you. You're also gonna have a dude trying to shoot missiles at you. But not only that, they also gain an extra little power to their kit when they are together in the arena. So Mr. Salami Brother is going to put fire on the floor and if you stand in that fire, it stacks to have fire stacks on you that makes sense to me fire stacks on you and if you stay in there for too long you'll get to the max amount of stacks and then it will kill you so you do not want to stand in any flames even if you only get one stack on you you don't want to have that going on because you're going to be taking damage from ads a lot you're going to be taking damage from him trying to slam you into the ground you're probably going to take some damage from his brother too so you don't want to have the extra damage of being on fire <laughs> as well. So make sure you avoid those fire spots. That's his new ability. He's going to still be chasing after you and diving at you, but he now also has these fire spots on the floor or sun spots if you're a solar titan and you want to avoid both him slamming you and those sun spots. Now what his brother is going to get is he's going to get a shield. So the only way that you can do damage to his brother now is to go inside the shield radius and do damage to him. So this gets really tricky because what ends up happening is you're trying to run away from all of the ads, you're trying to run away from his brother trying to slam you, you're trying to avoid all of these sunspots so you don't burn, but while you're doing that, you're trying to get close into his shield so you can kill him. So it turns just into a complete crazy 
crazy thing. Now there is also another mechanic with the Shield Brothers. You're gonna want to make sure that you are whittling their health down at about the same rate so when you kill one you will shortly after kill the other because if you don't the brother is going to inherit his brother's abilities. So whoever you kill first he's gonna take those abilities and he's gonna be a missile shooting Titan slamming fire spot creating monster. <laughs> so you definitely want to make sure that you're keeping an eye on their health so you kill them both at around the same time. So that is the overall in-depth look at this strike. I am really excited about the direction that Bungie is going with their bosses. They're no longer bullet sponges. They've gotten rid of the bullet sponges where you just have to stand there and do a bunch of damage to them. And they've put in more mechanics that make the fight more engaging and more exciting to participate in. They have things that you have to figure out, like maybe you don't know that you can't shoot that guy inside of his shield. Maybe you don't know that he now creates sunspots and you don't know that you shouldn't stand in them. There's so many things that you have to figure out now and also like when you kill one, the other one gets his abilities. That's really, really, really cool. That's really cool. You have to engage with it. You have to think about it. And it makes it a lot more exciting to play against when you have bosses that are actually interacting with you. They're not just in the middle of a room and you have to shoot at it. You actually have to avoid it. They're coming at you. They're, they're really strong. That's just, I'm excited. I'm excited. This is actually going to make PvE fun. It's going to make grinding strikes fun. So I am personally definitely looking forward to the Taken King and playing the strikes and getting that strike boss specific loot. I'm really looking forward to that too. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comment section what you think about this strike and feel free to ask me any questions. I will gladly ask any questions that I am able to without getting killed by Bungie. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching guys. I will see you in my next video. I love you and I'll speak to awesome people later. Bye.